Uh, I'm with David Horn and Bryce Tubin of Clarence following their win against Winslow North. Uh, David, I'll just start with you. Just thoughts about the win. Uh, I mean, going in this game, we knew it was a tough team. We knew it was going to be a battle. But, you know, they were coming to our house. We knew we had to, you know, fight to the last minute. And that's what we did. We got the win. And your thoughts, Bryce? Yeah, I mean, we had our defense step up all night. I mean, they put zero. They had le le left them to zero in the second half. And uh, all the props to our defense, all the props to our O-line for finishing on that last drive. I mean, they've been working hard all year. And they finished on that last drive. That means everything. Now, you mentioned defense. You guys had two interceptions. I think you guys scored off both of them. Coming from wrong, but just thoughts about just, just the defense making big plays. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, in ha during halftime, you know, coach was talking to us, you know, telling us our defense has to step up. Um, and, then, you know, that's exactly what they did. We had guys step up inside the defense and make huge plays, and, you know, it ended up getting us to win. Yeah, I mean, we win the turnover battle. We win the game, and... Uh, Aiden Dicey stepping oh, yeah. up with a big pick. I mean, that's just huge for us. And, uh, I mean, that helps our offense significantly. So, props to the defense. Now, for you, David, you missed the last couple games, and you kind of yeah. used today in, like, an emergency situation. Yeah. So, just thoughts about returning to the field today? Well, you know, obviously I had that injury. You know, it was killing me. But coach at halftime said, David, are you good to go? I'm like, yep, let's go. I'm ready for my team. I'm ready to do anything for my team to get this win. You know, I stepped up, and that's what I did. Now, for you, what are you also your thoughts about making an impact as well? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, I had to step in there and do my job. I'm not, I couldn't do any of that without my O-line. I mean, the cutback was there. It was just wide open. You know, I just, I just ran through it. Now, for both you guys, Will North, I mean, they kept it very close and competitive. What were they doing that made it such a difficult game? Yeah, I mean, Will North has dogs all over the field. Uh, they, those linebackers were expanding, making it hard for me to throw. And... Um, but they're, they're a great team, but our offense stuck, stayed within each other, stayed together as a family, and uh, that's how we pulled this one out. Yeah, you know, solid defense. I mean, we knew that going into the game. Um, but, I mean, our guys just stepped up, and we got the win. So. Now, just for both of you guys, so I'm going to that final drive where you guys were able just to kind of just run down the clock down the field. Yeah. Um, I mean, Denver, it's, it's like our favorite formation. We, had, <laughs> we were up seven. We knew we had to run the clock out. I mean, coach had trust in us and our backs, to, you know, keep getting the first down, keep running the clock. You know, that's what we did as a team. I mean, yep. give it to the dogs, give it to the running backs. Oh, yeah. Let those O-linemen eat. They were eating pancakes all day, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. all day. So just give it to them when we finish. I'm yeah. proud of our O-line, proud of our running backs. Now you guys are on a 16-game Western New York winning streak. So just thoughts about just the way you guys have been able to play against local competition since the beginning of last year. Um, I mean... For, to start off with this team, I mean, we're like the biggest family ever. We have family dinners every week. We're always getting together. Um, I think that's what makes us, you know, such a good team and, you know, has helped to our success because we're such a family. We always play for each other. We love each other. Yeah, I mean, we've only lost two games in our high school careers. So wow. just playing together and playing for each other and knowing we got each other's backs. I mean, this team just competes every single night and we never give up and uh, just Keep rolling, baby. Yeah. Keep rolling. And our last question is, last year you guys played McKinley. You guys beat them. Now this year again, you guys play them again. With the division on the line, so just thoughts about just that matchup with so much at stake. Um, last year they were a good team. I mean, this year it's the same thing. Um, this year they're here. They're stepping in our house. Um, and we're just going to do our thing. We know it's a good team, but we're going to do our thing. Yeah, McKinley has athletes all over the field, and so do we. We yeah. got athletes all over the field. We, got, we just showed them tonight. Our D stepped up, our O-line did their thing, so we're confident going into McKinley. Okay.